Hello friends, welcome to this video session. The topic that we are going to cover in this session is displacement and double displacement reactions. Friends, as you know, there are a number of types of reactions. Displacement and double displacement reactions are the types of reactions that we are about to study. Let us now begin with our first topic, which is displacement reaction. So, the word displace tells us that it means we are displacing or substituting something, right? So, how do we define displacement reactions? A displacement reaction is the one wherein the atom or a set of atoms is displaced or substituted by another atom in a molecule. For example, suppose A is more reactive than B. Then A can displace B from BC and form AC as shown in the reaction. Let us now understand the displacement reactions with the help of an example. Take three iron nails and clean them by rubbing with sandpaper. Then take two test tubes marked as A and B. In each test tube, take about 10 ml copper sulfate solution. Tie two iron nails with a thread and immerse them carefully in the copper sulfate solution in test tube B for about 20 minutes. Keep one iron nail aside for comparison. After 20 minutes, take out the iron nails from the copper sulfate solution. Now, we will compare the intensity of the blue color of copper sulfate solutions in test tubes A and B and the color of iron nails dipped in the copper sulfate solution with the one kept aside. Now we can observe that blue color of the copper sulfate solution has faded and the iron nail had turned into brownish color. The reaction that took place was iron reacted with copper sulfate solution and as iron is more reactive than copper, it displaced the copper from copper sulfate and formed iron sulfate and copper. This reaction is known as displacement reaction. Other examples of displacement reactions are First, zinc reacts with copper sulfate and displaces copper to form zinc sulfate and copper. Next example of displacement reaction is the reaction of lead with copper chloride. It displaces copper to form lead chloride and copper. Zinc and lead are more reactive elements than copper and therefore displace copper from its compounds. We will now discuss another type of reaction, which is double displacement reactions. It is similar to displacement reactions, but the name itself suggests that it is double displacement. That is, there is substitution of two atoms by other two atoms. In reality, such reactions in which there is an exchange of ions between the reactants are called double displacement reactions. Let us understand this double displacement reaction with the help of an example. Take about 3 ml of sodium sulfate solution in a test tube. In another test tube, take about 3 ml of barium chloride solution. Mix the two solutions. What do you observe? 
you will observe that a white substance which is insoluble in water is formed. This insoluble substance formed is known as a precipitate. Any reaction that produces a precipitate can also be called a precipitation reaction. So students, how is this reaction a double displacement reaction? Because chlorine ion 2Cl- displaces sulfate ion SO42- from sodium sulfate and barium ion Ba2+ displaces sodium 2Na+ from sodium sulfate. Therefore, it is a double displacement reaction. Friends, isn't this an interesting reaction? But what causes this reaction? The white precipitate of BaSO4 is formed by the reaction of SO4 to minus and Ba2 plus. The other product formed is sodium chloride which remains in the solution. Such reactions in which there is an exchange of ions between the reactants are called double displacement reactions. Friends, in this video, we studied displacement and double displacement reactions. In the next video, we will learn about oxidation and reduction reactions.